Hi guys, welcome to Sivanos HD. It's your boy Sivanos. If you are new here, kindly click on the red subscribe button, subscribe to this channel, and also click on the bell icon for notifications whenever I drop new videos. You're always still updated and notified. Don't also forget to follow me on Instagram at masterblessed. Follow me there, let me know the kind of videos you want to see, and I'll make that for you guys. As you've already seen on the title, the video replies a troll who blamed him for the death of his son and also portable fights with small doctor. But before we get to this story, let's start this story of portable for portable, saying it not go better for small doctor. Popular Afrobeat singer Potebu Olaloni ran courses on Fuji singer Small Doctor for being unnecessarily proud, stingy, and ungrateful. Potebu recently revealed during an interview that he never got help from either Olamide or Pokoli, comes from Small Doctor with a full blast. During a live video session on Instagram, the singer who recently welcomed the child and busted his colleague for losing his feet in the industry, and his, and his last hit track was from him. He further alleged that the singer once sent thugs to ambush him and that he never extended his fame to other upcoming singers. The Zazu crew now, however, ran endless courses on Small Doctor while stating that he tried to use him to make a name for himself. Guys, let's take a look at the video clip of Small um, um, Zazu raining courses on Small Doctor. Roll it. Did you have our boys? Our boys, why is that they can't me? Did you spread money? Did you give Shakshaku boys money? Mama, turn the phone, did you buy phone for So I have phone for our mother. So I have a DJ. Our mother is a DJ. Oh, this is a Our mother is a DJ. This guy is a really well a musician. But now, Portable has squashed the beef with Small Doctor after he dragged him online. In a new video which resurfaced, Portable stated that Small Doctor said that he doesn't want to hold grudges with him and he would like them to settle. It was learned that the two musicians settled their squabbles at their home, at the home of Abel Egbarin, who served as their mediator. Sharing the video, Portable said, Baba for the boys, settle the matter. I am Small Doctor, say him no one to Allah. Wala wala. Guys, let's take a look at the video. Really. Let me like your you. Small doctor. One year old, I'm in Jamal. I bet you're coming down. Let's do that. One hour, I'm in Jamal. 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 I'm in Oh more, this guy a problem. <laughs> Small talk to your style. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you think Small Doctor is stingy, selfish, and all the things Portable said about him? Do you think it's true? Let me know because I don't really know Small Doctor that well. I I know his hit song. I'm sure I'm going that one Portable was talking about, but I don't really know Small Doctor that well. So let me know in the comment section. Moving on, the video replies a troll who blamed him for the demise of his son, saying that um, I hope he hopes what happened to him never happens to the troll. Nigerian superstar David Adeleke, also well known as Davido, has replied a Ghana notorious troll who made an ill comment over the passing of Ifai. A few weeks ago, the news went viral that Davido and Choma's son Ifai had drowned to death. According to reports, the four year old boy was found in a swimming pool in the family house. The news broke the internet as many fans from Nigeria and beyond sent their condolences to their Adeleke family. However, as many poured their condolence message, a blogger identified as 
about Nat Hyde took to his page to make an insensitive post about the death of Ifain. According to the troll, Ifain died due to negligence and carelessness of Davido. He further added that Davido should be blamed for the sudden death of his son. He wrote, Davido has always been careless and carefree. Blame for the, the sudden death of his son, he tweeted. This is what he tweeted. In advanced countries like the US, Davido and Choma, parents of Ifan will be investigated for the death of their son and probably sued for negligence if found culpable. Put emotions aside, this is legal issue. You all don't read. Davido has always been careless and carefree. Blame him for the sudden death of his son. He has he could have taken precaution by being a proactive father who supervises his son's swimming lessons, thus preventing any misfortune drowning from happening. Davido who bounced back online recently replied the blogger praying that he never goes through what he has gone through. Davido replied saying, Thank you. I hope what happened to never happens to you. Amen. Then the guy said, I don't understand why you're saying this. And Davido said, Guy, hey, yeah, but um a lot of people are saying that this blogger, this Twitter guy faked this screenshot from the video and the video never replied. That is what is going on around the, the, the comment section. And a lot of people are, uh, are saying this guy is a stupid guy. Why should he be saying, making such comments about the, the demise of the video son? But guys, what do you think about this story? Let me know in the comment section. Moving on, Yule Doce tenders deep apology to his wife saying that she should stop hating him for the things for the one thing he did wrong. Veteran Hollywood actor Yule Edoche has tendered a lengthy and unreversed apology to his wife, May Yule Edoche. The controversial chessman Lane his heart bear apologized for his actions, which had hurt his wife, while noting that in spite of all that has happened, he had been a good dad to their kids. He also added that his feelings for his first wife still remain the same. This is what he wrote. To my dear wife, Queen Mel Yul Edoche, I acknowledge that I hurt you deeply. I've apologized to you countless times. I take the blames for my actions. I agree with you that polygamy shouldn't be forced on anyone. You never bargained for it from the beginning, neither did I. But I guess life happens. You already know the whole story. I didn't do it to disrespect you. I didn't do it to replace you, no, because I do not love you anymore. No. I have always loved you and and always will. I have been a good husband and a wonderful father. I have supported all your hustle from day one. I have been an exceptional father to our children to date, making sure they lack nothing and always there for everyone. Out of hundred out of hundred I have done ninety nine things right. Hating on me because of one thing isn't the best. Nobody is perfect, I am not, you are not, nobody is except God. I assure you that nobody is trying to take your place. I have apologized to you countless times, sincerely from my heart. I am sorry. I have always loved you and always will. Buto wani oma. We can live peacefully and happily. Guys, what do you think about this crazy story? Do you think, you know, you will Edoche's wife should accept this and, you know, live with the other wife peacefully? Or you think it's just wise that, you know, you, she's just she just left? And she shouldn't try to come back to the family. Or you think she should just do this because of her kids? Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. And moving on, actor Hanks Anuku makes appearance at Zubi Michael's party amid um, the rumors of his mental illness. Nigerian veteran actor Hanks Anuku was spotted at Anwa AZD Alade, held by his junior colleague Zubi Michael amid speculation surrounding his sanity. The appreciation post to his colleague for attending Zubi revealed that Hank Sanuku was among the party guests, which included Yu Ledoche, Destiny Tiko, and more. This is coming a few days just after comedian Nasbo raised the alarm on the actor's poor condition. Nasbo has also questioned why celebrities were hiding the actor's mental illness and claiming he was fine. The comic star told the world about his unpleasant encounter with Hank Sanuku while they were both in Asaba. He confirmed that the actor isn't fine after seeing him wandering as our streets looking hopeless. But Nas made it clear that he had his number and would do his past to assist him. Sanuku Mata is confusing me. Today they say he's well, tomorrow they say he's not well, today is at the party, tomorrow is on the set, next tomorrow is on the street. What is really happening to this man, guys? What do you think? 
let me know what you think about everything in this video and that's all for this video guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to slap a like click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to this channel follow me on instagram with that master bless i really really appreciate that take care guys stay safe see you later for another interesting video it's your boy Steve HD. peace